Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. Today we are going to play with a lance and since I haven't played with this vehicle in a while um, and the main reason why we are going to play with it because I am spying on our gaming store and looks like they are selling this vehicle, right? That's what I am doing and I'm trying to review the tanks which I haven't played in a while. And you know what? I always thought Lansen is absolutely amazing tank and in certain situations it is. Uh, but nowadays what I learned when I remembered how to play with this vehicle, I played some games off, off recording just to figure out how this vehicle is behaving. I like the gun handling of this tank, I like the platform of this tank, but speaking how the games are looking like nowadays, right, not having any armor whatsoever can be extremely, extremely frustrating experience, especially whenever you are meeting tanks like Baze. So. What I can tell you fellas, the tank is good, I still stand by my word and I think this tank is awesome. But not for a new player or not um, for so... Or not for newer player, you know, you need to have a lot of experience in order to make this tank work. That's what I am trying to say here. Um, and it is not as simple as you might think it is. You do not want to approach the tanks like bzzz. You just do not want to do that. Sure, if they are going sideways, you know, if you can punish them, yip yip hooray. But keep this in mind before opening your wallet. Any, in, in fact, any kind of tank without armor nowadays, it's just a bit of the um, stinky pooper, right? Now, let's dig to this tank. What this tank has? 320 alpha damage. This is very, very good for a medium tank. Mobility is also very nice. Um, it really can relocate. You can do many, many bad things for the for the enemies, uh, for sure. This tank is sweet, and this tank is nice for that. Um, what to say more? What to say more? Ah, do not really trust paper. I know it sounds very, very weird. How dare I to say something like this? But on paper, this vehicle currently has, with my setup, like 0.33 dispersion. I do not believe, um, I refuse to believe it is the case, right? I feel like the tank is so much more accurate um, than this. At least I am hitting my shots pretty well with this vehicle. Although, I must admit, I do not snipe from the red line with this vehicle. Aka, I am not sitting like where our T-32 is sitting, right? Like, uh, literally in the base. I just... I just play in the mid-range to say that the least and I am treating like I am made out of paper and I simply cannot do absolutely anything. So, focusing on this game, Ehrfeld is, well, how to say this in a very, very polite way. Ehrfeld is the map where you cannot make any pressure whatsoever, right? So, you need to treat this map extremely carefully to say that the least, right? You do not want to be um, way too aggressive. You just do not want to do that. You don't want to make hardcore pressure because you might end up in the garage uh, faster than I can talk. And I can talk very, very quickly, fellas. Um, so simply play safe and be smart and everything is going to be all right. How are you doing? You see? Such a such a silly mistakes. Enemies are making way too much pressure than they should, and they are instantly getting punished from this vehicle, right? And in fact, it doesn't matter with what kind of paper tank I would play, I would I would have literally the same situation nevertheless, right? Okay. Unfortunately, we cannot hit this guy in the angle like this, but it doesn't really change anything for us. We are still feeling very, very, very well. Hmm. I think we will still focus playing around the middle. The main reason being why am I saying I am focusing on play on the middle because I know enemies will be greedy eventually and I know they will try to make pressure. As an example, you see this Lansen. Lansen will get greedy and Lansen will say look at me. Gsor is going to do literally the same uh, um, mistake. I feel like we should simply hold the line that's all we need to do at this point um and looking what kind of other options we would have you know making a hardcore pressure moving like this is no bueno because there is two tanks sitting over there moving like this in my humble opinion it's not working and it's not worth it especially when you want to cross like this playing over there can work and i love play here but there is no one to play against right so 
In this situation, I think we are playing to the best of our abilities. And we are having our eyes widely open. Yes, enemy Leo punished me, that's okay. We punished Progetto, so we have relatively equal trades to say that the least, right? Now I'm trying to relocate a bit and I know what I'm going to do. You see, there is a Gusor over there. So, what is, what is happening in my pigeon brain and pigeon head? I am thinking about taking this position now here. And if um, Gsor is going to go up, we are going to say hi for him. I am very, very well aware of that they have some guys who never ever was spotted. As an example, the Shrek, Scorpion, the same FCM and even Lorraine. Right? So I need to be careful and I need to watch out. Uh, and maybe figure out where they are sitting yet. Okay, I'm getting spotted. What that means, if I need to predict, I would say there is a gentleman who is sitting in this bush or in this bush. Or maybe even here. Soon we will try to figure this out. So we are peeking to the angle. We would know uh, if someone is sitting here. Now we know. All we need to do at this point is we need to go for a blind shot. I see that Arta, don't worry. What we could do, we could mark Arta sitting in this position so we know the angle we should avoid, right? And all and all, all we want to do now, we want to go for a blind shot. He's sitting uh, right here next to the stone. Skill, how do you know that? Uh, I would say I missed so many blind shots, I learned how to hit them. I don't really think this is a hit either. It's okay, we have time. My, um, we are winning by 3,000 hit points. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Arta with APs. I have a feeling someone is testing his cheer quality. Okay. Let's relocate. I still think there is someone sitting in this position over there. I still want to believe that. We will see. Time will show absolutely everything in a moment. Lorraine. You see? My prediction and my guess wasn't wrong. I knew someone is sitting here just uh, from uh, from what direction we are getting spotted, right? And that is a good thing, fellas. And this kind of skill, this kind of knowledge, or however you would call this, hacks, whatever, it depends on you. Everything is coming with the time, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. More games you are going to play, right? Um, and if you will try to figure out from where you are getting spotted in the first place, um, you are going to become better and better and better at this. I'm ignoring this Lansen because I have way sweeter meatball over there. We are saying hi for him. And now we are going for Mr. Scorpion. I know he's looking at me. I don't... Oh, my banana. RNG is on the roll. By the way, did you notice how I loaded high explosive ammunition special for Scorpion? That was a special shot for you, mother tracker. He is dead. Hip, hip, hooray. And now we are going yam for that Arta. Nice, excellent. Okay, beautiful. Second class, 3.7 thousand damage, 500 assisting damage. I am feeling pretty happy with this performance overall. Um, and we scored it first by experience, but second by the damage. Very, very nice play by our Shrek. And... Uh, in the end of the day, we made 134,000 profits, although 33 are coming from the um, from the battle payments, which is a clan booster. So without it, we would profit 100,000. Look how little we spent overall. One more thing, which is worth to highlight, looking into the... Um, Price of the ammo, whenever you are shooting the standard ammunition, uh, 570 is kind of good price for 320 alpha damage. Uh, there is tanks uh, which are paying more than that with uh, way less alpha damage overall, right? So I believe it is a um, fair thing to say. And if I'm not mistaken, Uda's tier 8, well, uh, not a premium tank, but the standard one, I think it is paying 1000 for for AP shell. Let's check it out. Uh, nah, actually, I am wrong. Never mind, fellas false alert let's go for round number two okay fellas round number two karelia assault i would feel so much better attacking i love this map but i love this map so much more whenever i am making pressure myself instead of instead of defending but that is okay now how we are going to play this battle oh yo if you would pay attention how our team is playing this game it looks way more complicated than I would ever want to see. 
Skill, what do you mean by saying, oh, good, 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 E50 through the open field, nice. Come on, come on, guys, eliminate this mother trucker from the game, pretty please. Good side shot, unfortunate, unfortunate bounce. Look, what I am trying to do here is I am trying to uh, punish guys who are attempting to cross through the middle, right? Usually there is plenty of forces who are trying to do that. So what is my goal? My goal is to spank them for obvious reasons, right? Very nice. Okay, let's think ahead. What to do in this situation whenever we do not really have so many, so many forces here? Now we have two ways how to do the things. We have two ways how to do the things. Way number one, or first way, we can take a safe defense parameter here. Or way number two is we are trying to um, spot this side. Now, I know that sounds pretty weird skill. Why would you go here whenever you are relatively alone? But if you would pay attention, there is T30 looking towards this side and there is a Char Futur looking to this side. And in fact, Char Futur said high skill. What that means, that means uh, he is going to support us. Skill, are you abusing your name? A bit. But can you blame me for this? Look. They are going to peek here, I can promise you that. Unless for some weird reason we have no one playing in this side, but I don't really think it's the case. We have Convoy, we have 274A and we have E50. So at this point we are just waiting, look at this. T30 here, Chair Futur here and TS5 here. We are feeling alright. Come on! Come on, make a mistake, fellas. That's all I am asking for. Make a one mistake. That's all I need. One mistake, please. And time is in our favor in this kind of situation, right? All we need to do, we need to chill out and we need to relax a bit. Or do we? You know what could be the worst case scenario for us? If enemies are actually making pressure in pack. Right? If enemies are going in front not one by one, but they are simply going YOLO and three of them are going in front, then it is a problem because I have no way to escape from that. So we need to keep this in mind. Okay, Pantera. I really want to build an angle for this Pantera, but I'm afraid of this convoy. If I will peek sideways, this could be extremely bad. Okay, convoy is not sitting here anymore, or at least uh, he's not getting spotted. So now there is a chance we are going to hit this Pantera. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Okay, let's go back instantly. And now we are preparing for, um, for zombie apocalypse like this. In fact... I am prepared to that level, I am going to get a bit of the distance, right, between them and me. Skill, how is it going to look like? I'm going to play in this bush. What we are getting from this bush, we still can spot people playing here, we still can spank, Whee! we still can um, spank them as well, right? So this is exactly what we want to see and this is exactly what we want to do. And it's not so easy to outspot me either. Be smart. And be patient. Here you go. Guy going through the middle of the field. Unfortunately, oh, very fortunately, we had a good reaction from our T30. Very, very nice. And this guy is left with the 69 hit points. You know what I mean. Um, I'm going to claim it. Yep. There is no other way, fellas. I see that E50 making pressure through the middle, but to be fair with you, it is kind of irrelevant at this point because he needs to escape through the landmines, to say that the least, right? Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Wait, wait, wait now. Beautiful. You see, this bush worked just fine. I was waiting until he's going to peak, then his six cents started working, then he's pushing back and we are spanking him. Good. The worst part of all this we did not have anyone reacting into this situation, right? No one managed to spank this guy beforehand. That is a bit of the sadness, but let it be. What is the next step? 
I think there is a possibility um, this E50 might try to make a bit of pressure like this. This is my thinking, you know. I am trying to predict what enemies are going to do. And in fact, looking into this situation, fellas, uh, we were winning extremely, extremely easily, right? It was looking like we are dominating this game like there is no tomorrow. But at this point, mm, mm, mm. doesn't work this way. Okay, how about if I would try to spot the convoy? You know what? I'm returning to the same position. I know it might uh, sound weird and everything, but I think this is the right way to do the things. Convoy, beautiful. Pantera, beautiful. Convoy is thinking about me. But let him think. Let him think, fellas. You see? Beautiful. This is exactly what I want to see. Poor soul. He thought he's going to spank me. I mean, if you are dead, greedy, I see, I see, I see. Smart, smart. Apart one thing, I have friends. You don't believe in me? You don't believe in me, kind sir? I have many, many friends. Ooh, that wasn't um, the finest pressure to say that the least. Nice. You see, in this kind of situation, we behave like a bite or bait or however to spell that properly. Mm -hmm. There is still a lot of things for us to do. But first things first, I would like to eliminate this E50 with a blind shot. Skill, there is no way. There is no way you are going to shoot the first shot and you are going to send him to the garage. Oh, really? You are 100% correct. There is not a chance. You got me, fellas. Mm -hmm. He's sitting in the other side of the... of that rock. That's what I would guess. In fact, I am that brave. I am going to take the middle at this point. I think this is the right way to play the game. Oh, yo, look, there is double E50. So this gentleman escaped from here. That's fine. That's fair. Fair play, fellas. That's all we can say. No. <laughs> How we can get involved? This is the question. Two minutes left. At this point of the game, I don't care am I going to survive or am I going to die. I know it might sound weird skill, how dare you not to care, but we are winning this game. No matter what, this game is going to be victory. So at this point, I am just trying to uh, maximize my profits. And by saying my profits, I mean how much, uh, uh, how much damage and how much assisting damage we are going to make in this game, right? By the way, one more thing which I really, really, really want to highlight. Um, remember what I said before? Do not trust the paper, what paper says for you, uh, speaking about them. Okay, you got me, fair enough. Um, I said do not trust paper, what paper says about the gun. On the gun... Uh, on the paper, this gun is pretty bad. And in reality, I think you can hit most of your shots if you have the right equipment set up. I am rolling with ventilation, rammer, and uh, stabilizer. That's the equipment which I am using. Let's go to the um, scoreboard. Okay, and we are back with a second class with a 2.2 thousand damage, 2.5 thousand assisting damage. I think we play this battle well and I am happy with our performance overall. And all in all, 113,000 profits. Obviously, without clan boosters, it would be like 84,000 or something, right? Which is completely fine. You cannot say it is a bad thing considering how we played the game. I believe there is a uh, last game left with this vehicle. Come on. Show me something nice, Lansen. Okay, last game is going to be hard. Tier 10 matchmaking to Zanke. This should be long one. Ooh, can we have a shout out for a beautiful uh, Tsutsu with a chair footer and with the most beautiful camo in the game? <laughs> beautiful camo. I appreciate this gentleman's style and taste for sure. Okay, how we are going to play this game? So the first things first, what is happening in my head is... 
this is exactly what is happening in my head. I pretty much want to take this position here because I have no business to do um, in the train station or however you would call that building, right? Um, I simply think this is the right way to play the game. In the same time, we are waiting until enemies are going to cross like this because usually there is some people who are um, just simply trying to get involved with this way, right? So this is the first step. Now the main reason why we are going for this first step is straightforward and I would say simple as well, right? Um, we are doing this because we do not want to get involved alone. There is nothing worse to do just go in front, right? S meet seven guns, bend over and rest is the history. Right? We need to keep this in mind, we cannot afford this and we do not want to do this. We just simply do not want to do this, fellas. Okay, very, very nice. Good, good, good. We know we are chair footers. We know we are Shrekes. So at this point, we are pretty much prepared to spank them. Shrek should pick. He picked once. He is going to pick once again. That's for sure. It's a matter of the time, fellas. I see our team is losing by 2,000 hit points, but it's still extremely early game to guess and to say something. We still have plenty of time left, fellas. Just be patient. I'm waiting for that Shrek. I think I heard high explosive ammunition. So I would not act surprised if the Shrek just fired from here or something. Let's try to go for a blind shot. I think this could be a hit. Ooh. Sneaky. Sneaky char. Oi, oi. Our progetto is officially dead. Yeah, unfortunate. Not much what this gentleman can do about this. Look at this. Remember what I said literally seconds ago. Don't be the first hero of the day because it can finish just like so. Look what is happening, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, nice camo. I'm feeling a bit um, naughty by shooting a baboon with skill camo, to be fair with you. Well, obviously it's hard to say is he a friendly one or not so much, but it still doesn't make me... Uh, feel that great if you know what I mean. We are destroying this building skill. Why are you destroying this building in the first place? So the answer is ooh, He will go for a blind shot. No, no blind shot. Hm, weird uh, You know what? Fellas, I think we just witnessed baboons killing each other I, I honestly think both of them had skill camo and they were fighting till the death Nice blind shot by Chair Futur. We need to give a credit for him. No, no, no fall back. No falling back, my man, from here. Look, I'm going to destroy this building as well. Skill, why are you doing so? I'm preparing for them making a hardcore pressure, fellas. There is nothing else for us to do just to prepare for this and to wait until they are going to go for it, right? That's all I am thinking, and that's all I am doing in the first place. Aha, uh -huh, T57, T57 is going in front. Guys! 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 Uh, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, please know. Yeah, well, that is a tier 10. I met a tier 10, and the tier 10 said skill. It is about the time to have a conversation. Okay, not much what I can change about this, uh, apart accepting this and saying better luck next time. I'm a bit disappointed with such a bad last game, but once again, what can you do? Uh, at least we can be proud of the previous two games, right? Uh, like I said, this is complicated, and whenever someone is committing like this, there is nothing what you can change about this. And in the same situation, the enemy team we are winning. You know, they played stronger and they were better. So yeah, nothing to say. Anyways, after two games, our performance was absolutely amazing. And this is what this tank is worth, fellas. I honestly think this tank is worth exactly that. 3,000 damage, 1.5 thousand assisting damage. And we can pretend the last game never existed. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Before opening your wallet and buying Lance and Think Twice, um, 
like I said before, tank is hard to play with and it is not so simple as it might look like from the first glance. Believe me, uh, it is hard tank to play with. So when we have this out of the way, thank you. I hope you were very well entertained and see you soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.